Hey there, Miss Meredith here. Today we are going to go over some responsibilities that we have when using shared devices in our school. We have gone over the rules that we need to follow when using technology, and there are a couple of extra things we need to keep in mind since we are borrowing devices from our school, which ultimately our district owns. So we need to be extra careful and there are some things that we probably shouldn't change since we aren't the owners of the device. We need to keep it the way that it is. So you probably have seen a sheet like this posted on your device cart or somewhere in your room. I broke this down even more into little small chunks to help you go through that so that our technology is working the best that it can. First and foremost, we're not going to be changing our desktop backgrounds of our devices. We're just going to leave them as is. Sometimes the district or the technology teachers send out backgrounds that actually help us know which device is which. So we're just going to leave it as is, which takes up so much pressure off of you because you don't need to waste your time deciding what background is perfect. You don't even get a choice to decide anyway. Next, to help our machine run the best that it can, we're going to close out of all of our website tabs at the end of the day and also swipe out of any apps. When Even if we're not using the device, the websites and apps are still running, and ultimately our battery might die a little bit faster. So just when you're done for the day, make sure you close all of those out. We'll also make sure that we'll keep our website homepage that is already assigned to us. So that means when you open up Google Chrome or Safari, there probably is a website that will pop up first every time. Often schools and districts will send out a homepage that is on every kid's device and oftentimes it makes it easier for some of the assignments you have to get to. So leave the homepage as it is and it will make your life a lot easier in school. Also, we're going to make sure that our display settings also stay the way that they should. So that means we're not going to push up the contrast on your device, change the size of the screen, make it crazy big or crazy small. All of those sorts of things might it might be hard to get it back. So unless you have special permission to put those different display settings, we're going to leave it as is so we can see everything on our screen successfully. Along with that, our account icons are going to stay what they are assigned to us. Now, sometimes when you are setting up a user on a Chromebook, it does ask you to choose a little character. That's different. That's okay. But thinking about our Google icons and things like that, we're just going to leave it as it is because that can be distracting to our learning and we might forget what we're supposed to be working on. So just leave our icons. It's okay. Next, we're going to stay on the websites and apps that are assigned to us, which goes along with our technology rules. So that makes sense. It can be very tempting to click into other apps or other websites or sneak into a game you think your teacher isn't looking. Oh, they're looking and there's a way to find out what you are on. So just stay on that website and app. Trust me, you just want to follow the rules. I, I promise you it, it helps. <laughs> And then at the end of the day, after we have swiped out of all those uh, websites and apps, we are going to put our devices away where they should be stored and then plug them in. It's always a bummer when you grab a device and the battery is super low because somebody forgot to plug it in. So help each other out, plug them in so they're ready to go for the next day. Thank you so much for watching and I know that you're going to do your best to keep our technology in the best running order.